Hi, this is John Blyler, Editorial Director for Internet of Things Embedded Systems Magazine. I'm here today at JAMA Software, their headquarters in Portland, Oregon. I have the pleasure of talking to Eric Wynn, who is the Director of Business Intelligence for JAMA. Um, in the embedded space in particular, we're seeing uh, a lot of, of uh, workflows coming together. The software side, the hardware side, Time to market is, of course, getting even shorter than it has been with the Internet of Things. But the, um, and there's models and methodologies in each domain to handle this, but how do you handle them together? And how do you put that into a workflow that can be, can be traced to user requirements and, and whatnot? Um, thanks for the question. So I think one of the, the things that we're seeing um, definitely driving product innovation is a, um, an absolute focus on the end user experience. Um, and the end user experience itself is becoming much more complex, right? It's not enough de uh, developing products that what's just the the user experience on your physical device, but really how seamlessly is it interacting with the web application uh, as part of that offering? How is it um, interfacing and um, supporting a user experience across a connected experience uh, with other applications within the suite? Um, incorporation of software into that um, for um, innovation. The ability to leverage software opens up so many opportunities to really maximize and optimize for a user experience, where historically uh, a lot of technology uh, um, relied on the physical uh, component. Now a lot of it is is the software side. Where that impacts workflows, even at the highest level of product design, is really looking in, in defining what is the optimal and testing and validating, iterating very quickly to understand what is the optimal user experience and re leveraging that to decompose into uh, software requirements on how that's going to get done. And where that workflow um, kind of starts is really focusing on what is that customer need and, and through that iteration being able to break that down. Where new iterative um, methodologies such as Agile really come into play is really allowing teams that flexibility of optimizing how they're going to solve and uh, deliver on that, um, those customer problems, customer challenges. And it's through that process that the teams have to be in lockstep, collaborating, iterating very, very quickly, and then ultimately breaking that down into small batch work that the, uh, the software development teams can deliver. Where that um, adds complexity on the integration side is ultimately the software has to run on physical uh, technology. And as um, companies have a broad portfolio of products um, leveraging oftentimes very similar software, that configuration management uh, can be complex. So as, as part of their workflow, as challenges happen, as optimizations happen, how do they understand the interdependencies across those products so that they can make sure that as they innovate and release new and evolve the the user experience that they know exactly kind of which uh which products within their product line are going to be impacted and which ones uh, are not <laughs>